Good morning everyone. Today is July 9th and I'm going to do a quick video on how to uh, keep busy during a pandemic, how to touch up your house, which is something that I've been wanting to do since it's a two-story home. Um, had a little bit of problems in the uh, higher areas where some of the bamboo that I grown here in my backyard has um, you know touched a little bit on the corners of the soffits so I'm trying to repair those little areas the first thing you want to do if you have a two-story home is get a ladder that looks like it's in good shape this one I had to replace the rope right there and the hooks are pretty good I made it up there yesterday and I patched up that little corner but just to let you see the um, extent of my uh, passionate growing hobbies this is my bamboo there's a guava right there in front small backyard but I put up this little little uh, hut to grow the uh, passion fruits on but beautiful beautiful shady gives you um, oxygen just can't um, say enough about how nice it is to grow some of these plants and the bamboo <coughs> has grown quite large over the years as you can see there's some big diameter bamboo hey puppy good morning how are you this morning okay you're good you're good you're okay all right so that's it that's my bamboo and it messed up a little bit in that corner there which I'm gonna go up and touch up also so the ladder, I made sure that the tiles are solid enough to hold it. Uh, so I moved it around a little bit. Sometimes those tiles can be loose on you. So be careful if you have to go to the higher elevations. And um, yeah, this is the beginning. <laughs> you got a ladder. The other thing you want to do, um, you want to make sure that you have Oh, here's another big stock of bamboo coming up out of the ground. Um, just to give you an idea how big these are. This is my hand. I can palm a basketball most of the time. And I can't get my hand around it. These are some of the ones that I, I've had to take down because of the problem I had up there. And um, they have beautiful plants as they grow. So we have plenty of this growing around if you want to order any bamboo. As I said, Green Thumb Chronicles has it all, tropical and otherwise. So um, yeah, keeping, keeping you posted here in Central Florida. So just to give you an idea, of some of the painting. I will um, attempt to carry my coffee and the radio to show you some of the um, areas that I had to touch up. And I'll put on a little music. Yep. So you've seen plenty of videos for my medicinal plants. Um, how guava cures diabetes, takes care of a lot of health issues. Moringa, everyone knows about Moringa. I'm pretty sure it's a superfood. Most everything I grow is a superfood. So Green Thumb Chronicles, believe it or not, all your health falls to the ground. The leaves are what I go after. I don't really care much about the fruit. But give you some tips on the painting. Um, of course, the most important thing is the paint. You need to have good paint uh, exterior. And it is expensive, I have to say. A lot, maybe two or three times the price of interior paint. I um, got up to the tiles on the roof 
terracotta tiles and was able to touch them up with um, some terracotta paint and um, just to let you know and see how pretty it came out there it is the roof tiles are very neat and clean by comparison to uh, some others next door or um, even in other areas of the house that I haven't touched it up yet but that was the first thing to do is start at the top um, get a good ladder make sure it's got good solid pieces on it since when you get up there your life does depend on it and the first thing I do is I try to find a place to tie it down <clears throat> so I tie it down best way I can um, at the top and then I put a pot of plants at the bottom so and that helps in keeping the ladder stable now <clears throat> um, yeah the bungee cords work quite well <clears throat> um, now to get some of the higher areas if I didn't want to climb that high myself I use these extensions that I bought at Walmart that you can place your um, roller on and I've also placed a um, paintbrush on it here they are they um, open up and close up quite well and they get to be about 20 feet long and that gives you quite an advantage when you need to get up to the higher area um, just a thought in case you all needed some way to get up to the higher areas um, so um, these larger areas of the wall such as the one that you see here on my left hand side um, most of the time you can't see any imperfections if you painted it but I noticed that if you use a roller you're using different you're using different paint thicknesses because as the roller rolls um, you know the original paint you put on it gets less and less so you actually don't get an even coat so what I did is I went ahead and bought myself a Wagner spray gun and um, these are great they're a little heavy to hold on to but they work quite well Wagner um, the settings doesn't really matter because you know you start spraying you get the paint on the wall and it just fills the holes I noticed that's good for detail work for architectural details like uh, the ones that I have over there on top of those columns that architectural detail has a lot of little ins and outs and it's difficult to get in and out of there and um, and that little piece of architectural ornament that I have on the side of the house also has some intricate painting area so the spray gun worked quite well so between 40 and 150 dollars depending on the size you purchase that's the way you go with that um, so don't forget to use a drop cloth those drop cloths wow you find out real quick that you know you get paint stains on your pavers and it doesn't want to come off so that's a problem um, just make sure you uh, yeah like I said I did paint the tiles um, you know they get quite moldy my tiles are pure terracotta so there's a couple of them that actually fell off once and like I said make sure your ladder when you push it up there is not pushed up against a tile that's going to move on you because it'll fall on you and what have you and don't forget to check your local weather the weather is a big deal because right now in the morning I could paint this side of the house which is what I had to do I was getting too much sun and um, getting burned up quite quite a bit so it's a lot better to um, do your you know shaded areas uh, wherever the sun is not and then if you get another shaded area in the evening which I do on this side uh, you try to do some of this work in the evening so that's basically it painting tips staying busy during the pandemic um, 
medicinal plants. These are all tips on how to uh, stay healthy during a pandemic, mentally, physically, and you buy yourself some, some time. This is one of my Ponderosa lemons. As you can see, it's the size of a softball. Like I said, my hand goes around a uh, basketball quite easily. I got a little paint on the plants. You might want to put some drop cloth over the bushes when you paint. So here, here's my paint droplets. The guanabanas, the leaves, cure cancer 10,000 times stronger than chemotherapy. The uh, avocado, diabetes, weight loss, constipation, menstrual, um, all those things. And then probably the most incredible plant that anyone could ever grow is the uh, rosemary. Rosemary has mental stabilizing properties. Um, for those of you that, you know, think that maybe during a pandemic you don't need much, I would drink a cup of rosemary daily. Just the rosemary tea, that's all you need to do. Dry it. And this is my hibiscus. Blood pressure. And the culantro. Another superfood, by the way. My wife puts it in rice. The guavas, amazing properties. They take care of diabetes. Um, they help lower blood pressure. Uh, good for just about anything. So, yep, that's it. Green Thumb Chronicles, how to stay safe and busy and productive during the pandemic. Um, subscribe, like, keep in touch. Talk to you soon.